Anybody trying to imitate if you're fabulous, if you want to be like us, you are wasting your time because you can never be. You do not have the heavenly mandate to do so. Only IPAB does. That is why we propagate this very gospel without fear before our enemies. That is why the zoo is vibrating because of IPUB. That is the only name that strikes fear into the heart of the cabal. The only name that drives the caliphate insane. That name is IPOB and no other. Unless you talk about IPOB, nobody will take you seriously, but we shall get into that later on. But this evening, before we proceed, as we always do here on this hallowed platform, we hand over all our proceedings to the Most High Elohim, to Chukwokika Biyama, to come and take complete and absolute control of our proceedings this evening. We want to hand him over, not just this very program, but the entire project of Biafra restoration, because without Elohim, we are nothing. Without Chukwokika Biyama, we fail to exist. There is nothing man can do about Biafra restoration. Only Chukwokika Biyama can give us Biafra, not man, not mortal flesh. Only the ever-living immortal Elohim can give us Biafra. We must understand this. That is why we will sacrifice the land of Biafra to the glory of Elohim, that his name may be praised and worshipped forever and ever. We must pray this very evening, and I will pray from the book of Psalms, as I always do, and as I do for this very noble IPOB family, seven times every blessed day. Kahawe go open son, go open napota, open zopota, open the bunny men. Nanny when I go in, Nanke Benny Gwen, only a carrying any necker, a manomagon yakere, or no banana, the other one no two onion, china can and cum obony. Oh, yes, and I guess if I ever put a mobony and cared and so china can nezeb when I am with Sal and your botanine. Now, to turn on sopper on a jam, Nanam Bullielu. Chine can and can you never win up with Sialanya? Only Obonan Yanachi, only can you never know Badarakaya, Obu IPOB, can you never get a can of Huruchia, Nibu one in a canyon to know. Tamaragi was working in Mendwani. Kabaragi were more bane banyan. King in a way, Burun Kehani in a Kahara Bondanaban in Bokuru. Kahara nanki gwe bonde natura in Urubiani, only a woman at China can nanke benigue, Nakabe, but in the play in Azuso Pochiline, can never put it to one Madonna Lower Wenoya, Nabalia. We had a Gabon candidate to a Obagaraga Buko can all honey, no to no to Bombay Sino Mogagan Munima to be. Kakiwecho <laughs> No two arcades on the IPUB. And you both of you was a head better. I got a young girl when I got a gun and cadence. So I knew when I say, Look how much you got your house, Zokahara Bonde. Hanandino and Wemeco. The full button and your cook could be a friend cause of her, but I will go with Wawasa. You know what I fall and in your heart to the waiting and I will put away and I could not create a condition of bringing and cadence. So Caraha, however, but I need more here. 
Kara haba hawe baba hane ba na aso aya. Kara ke gaba gaga ngon gota nan kede nso. Ni hina ndi osi akari ala. Ndi ama akari ala. Ndi ne si wona kalide tu awe bato mu ni men nan kede nso. Chine ke nan ki gonya ni be. Kalide tu amala hani. Ni hina obo olu ochichire ka hana alo, olu ikunchi ka hana alo. Chine ke nan kede ni gwa ri okanye na ri oge. Kamale kwa nyo wanye bonde na chiruge. Sino nan kege mo ihi wadabo IPOB no wani inge. Ani wanye bundi mweze hona nye na masi ebo kunsoge no. Obu ya mene mburi ne kanye na chonye wanye na nye gebuli ya hansoge lu. Chine ke nan kigwe na nye gajare ma. O kaka da nye gapisi ala nyegi. Ani ya mwego nyosa mwopo gana nyegi. A ipi yobu ya mwego nyosa nye nefe wezu kake chine ke nan kebe ni igwe. O nye ndi bo na poku wa hansoge. Ako ndi mwezu sabu kama we nye ha. Ade. Kwa ke nye uwa bo na nye. Kwa-wani-ne-we-ku-ni-o-fo-bo-chi-we-si-ne-zi-e-ne-zi-e-no-mo-e-bi-o-bi-bo-mo-chi-ne-ke-na-ke-ma-ma-ge-we-po-ti
in exercise of a mandate given to me by the Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra, the governing arm of our movement, and by extension, the entire global worldwide family, because I have the mandate to do whatever it takes to ensure that Biafra is restored. That was the mandate that was given to me. In case some of our people have forgotten, that is the mandate which I keep exercising every blessed day of my life. Our boycott was absolutely necessary. And we utilized it to very good effect. And today we have a signed document attesting to that very fact that not only is IPOB formidable, when the dust settles, the world will realize that their only hope is IPOB. Not in a political party, not in politicians, but in IPOB and no other. We ask for this boycott when people were still sleeping. We are the catalyst for the restructuring debate in the zoo. That very fact is undeniable. There is nobody today discussing restructuring in the zoo. If they are honest, they will reference IPOB and the Nam Khan in the process. They know that. We are the originators of anything that has to do with some sort of revolution in that very zoo today. Why did we insist on boycott and why did some fools, I call them fools because they are foolish, they don't know anything. They are foolish because they don't have the liver. They don't have what I call the balls to actually sustain any credible fight to its logical conclusion. These are people you can just buy because they have no conscience. They have nothing to offer. They talk because they want to attract attention to themselves. They speak eloquently sometimes because they want to draw um, the attention of the caliphate so people can perhaps um, induce them, as they have always done, to abandon what we all agreed ought to be done in pursuit of earthly glory and money, nothing else. Unfortunately for them, they think I'm like them, but they know I am not. So the only way they can perhaps remove the cloak of shame from their faces is to go about pretending that we are like them. When they know for sure that before we came, there was none like us. Before IPAB came, there was anything like IPAB before? The answer is no. As credible and as formidable as we are, the answer is no. Now that we are here, do we have anybody who can challenge or rival our position? The answer is no. And long after we are gone, the living will wish we lived forever. Till tomorrow, for you to be published in a newspaper in the zoo, for you to be referenced in any conversation in the zoo, you must mention IPOB and you must mention Nam de Kano. That is where they derive their relevance from. And I'm absolutely shocked and amazed that our people spend time responding to idiots who don't deserve our time thereby perhaps some um, fueling their ego and their recharge card which their masters give them from the north. These are rats. They are not worth debating or having a conversation with. Ask any of them that you come across, which country have you been to to agitate for Biafra? How many government officials of the world have you met? Where can you be cited? That's a credible group that exists on the ground in Biafra land. They have no local standing. They have no position. They only exist in the realm of perhaps um, one or two social media pages and um, a sprinkling of public announcements now and then. They don't exist. The only people that exist is IPOB. We are in over 88 countries of the world, the most credible, the most formidable freedom fighting outfit on the face of this planet Earth. There is no government in the world that doesn't know about IPUB. And as you all know, I have been to see some of them. It's not everything that we um, put out in the open. After all, when I told you about our transmitter, 
the same people that were clamoring for me to show them where the transmitter was were the ones that called DSS and told them where it was, and they went and seized it. That is how they operate. Um, evil people brimming with evil sadistic souls but they will never survive let us start from the beginning where this whole thing began this evening as with most of our recent broadcasts i want those of you with internet access or should i say internet enabled device to please go to google and do a very simple search I want to prove to you how useless Nigerians are. I want to prove to you how cowardly they are. I want to prove to you this night with this simple search that only IPOB is dependable. I want to prove to you that we have come that Biafra may be restored. I want to also prove to you that all those yapping and talking rubbish that they are beneath contempt. Beneath contempt. And I'm actually astonished. There are some people in inbox to ask me silly questions about non-entities that shouldn't be discussed nor mentioned. Go to your Google search this very evening and key in the words, no restructuring, no election. Very, very critical, very, very important. No restructuring, no election. And I want you to please kindly go through all the news items that will appear under this very search to understand that another name for IPOB is consistency, which everybody lacks, both in Biafra and in the wider zoo called Nigeria. I want to prove to you that this is the reason why they are jealous of our consistency, our indefatigability, our ability to remain on the truth and say no until we get what we're looking for, which we have already anyway. That's why they kept postponing the elections. You don't know that? Jibril knows that after the elections, he will be hunted down like a rabbit and sent to jail, first for impersonation and secondly for genocide, which Obiano is continuing tonight. We shall get to Obiano later on. We have the pictures to prove it, that Obiano, as I told you before, Nenanaga and Nuhi, people who don't listen, the idiots that were asking me to vote in Anambra elections, the idiots that came and asked me to vote. You can see what Obiano is doing to our people, doing the bidding of Fulani Caliphate. We shall get to that later. Obiano, tomorrow when we revenge, tomorrow if I give the order for revenge attack to be carried to Obiano, people will start complaining. Obiano, as at this night, our people are flooding, or should I, should I say flooding, they are being packed and taken to DSSS headquarters in Abuja. Ask them, as I'm speaking to you right now in Anambra, Obiano, in conjunction with some traditional rulers, have instigated a raid everywhere to pick up any Biafran. If you are an IPOB sympathizer or not, it doesn't matter. They'll just pick you up and send you to Abuja because he's upset. I called off the boycott. I want people to understand the intrigues enmeshed in the politics of the damnable zoological republic the heart of darkness but most of them cannot see it because they are black they can't reason very well and some of you will remember what i told you when we started about Igbo people i'm Igbo myself igbo and i told you that i'll never fight for Igbo. i'll only fight for biafra and i told you why that that name is cursed i said that before look at the way they are behaving but we shall get to that later what i want you to do this evening is to please go to Google and type in no restructuring, no election. Ikechuku is in touch with me from Israel, and he will tell me this evening, he will be the one to tell me this evening if our people are following this very program or not in the way that I want it to be followed. If you type in no restructuring, no elections in your Google search engine, this is what you are going to come up with. You will see there is one from the independent. Let me not even go to the. I have to start all the way from the beginning. All the way from the beginning. 
for the world to know. You will see no restructuring, no 2019 elections, seven leaders, the Sun newspaper. Not Namde Kano, not IPOB. These are men, supposed men of honor, from the whole of the South, by which I mean South, Southeast, South, South, and Southwest, and some parts of Middle Belt. What did they say? They said this on 18th of, of August 2017, at the height of our agitation when I was conducting rallies all over Biafra land. What did they say? no restructuring no 2019 election they were waiting for ipob they were waiting for nam they can and when i came out and we gave them the momentum everybody started speaking remember what they said no restructuring no 2019 elections these are men of honor these are men that people sometimes ask us to regard their word as something we we'll continue the nation, Yoruba paper, Tinubu's paper, no restructuring, no vote, or Haneze tells presidential hopeful, no restructuring, no vote, or Haneze. I hope you people are seeing what I'm saying. Just go to Google and type in no restructuring, no elections. You will begin to understand that initially the agreement was if there is no substantial movement in terms of devolution of powers to the regions, there will be no election. This was what I asked Ohaneze to get for me from Jubril before my house was invaded and my men killed, including my dog and my cousin. This was what I asked Southeast governors to take to Abuja. Ask them for something. Not for IPOB, not for Namdekan. Ask them to make structural and fundamental changes in the system that our people may be free. They will tell you, that's what I asked for. And by the way, somebody reminded me before I came on air that only two people ever in the history of Biafra has ever put themselves, has put Biafra before themselves. I have met Niamu Dano Haneze before. I have met Igbo governors before. I have met other people that they sent to come and see me and to talk to me. Ask them what my demands were in all of those occasions they came to see me. Ojis Okalu came to see me in prison. Ask him what were my demands. They never change. What are you going to do for my people? Not me. For my people. Despite every offer, I said, no, you must do something for Biafra. Because I'm not here on my own. I am here representing a people, an entire nation. If you go to your Google search results, you will see 2019 notice. It says Ohane is a national line, no restructuring, no 2019 election. Southern leaders said this. Everywhere you go to, that was what they said. Now ask yourself this very simple question. Why did they fall by the wayside and allow only IPOB to continue the boycott that had everybody in the South, as we planned it, joined this boycott from the beginning? By now, the zoo would have collapsed or turned into a better place is there for the whole world to see i'm sure it's getting more clearer now ask yourselves before Igbo leaders capitulated before Igbo leaders capitulated that is southeast south west uh, yoruba leaders south south before they said or before they agreed to go and vote ask them did you get what we were asking for is there for the whole world to see how come these men that claim they are people of honor and integrity how come you are saying in 2017 2018 no restructuring no voting all of a sudden you have no restructuring jubril is busy slaughtering and killing people appointing only fulani islamic security chiefs basically ruling and not leading with impunity all manner of impunity 
and you're still going to the polls to go and vote where you know there is a chance that this very election might be rigged. These were the things that all the leaders said. So not just IPOB. Everybody queued behind IPOB to say if there is no fundamental changes within the system, we will all boycott. That was what they said. Now you wonder, how come, how come they never stuck to their words? Because they are weak and they are not IPOB. It is only IPOB that stuck to what it said right from the beginning, that if there is no movement towards what we are asking for, our terms and our conditions, we will boycott until that was met. And the people who over the months, or should I say years, have been busy yapping and gossiping with heaven knows how many fake fake. them they have never asked for the amalgamation document they have never asked for anything it's only from ipob give us give us give us the one i gave you before where did it lead us to some of them that we allowed into ipob and gave them what should i say reasonable position what became of them they went back and now are informants for the Nigerian government. They were in IPOB before, high-ranking officers in IPOB, but today they're informants. So we are very, very careful as to who we deal with or who we allow into our secret and our mode of oppression. They said no restructuring, no voting is in the cable, no restructuring, no voting. Everywhere, he joins wrong. He joins. We are unbreakable. I mean unbreakable. We fought the entire world media and won. I said world media because till this very evening, CNN will not carry any news on Biafra. That hasn't stopped us from making waves all over the world. We fought the zoo, the might of the zoo, with their petrol dollar and their well-paid consultants all over the world. And we brought them to their knees. We vaporized Al Hajilai Mohammed and his lying Ministry of Information. We fought the zoo media and we won. Who are these wretched cockroaches that people won't let me rest? Because you respond to them, that is where you feed them with the relevance that they crave. You don't know each time you write or you respond to what they are saying, they get more recharge card from the north. <laughs> Ignore them and they disappear because they're irrelevant. Go and check their profiles on Facebook. They don't exist. They don't exist. Try calling them. They don't exist. It allowed itself to be taken for a ride by people who are irrelevant absolutely irrelevant they talk about us it's a thing of joy for us that these inconsequential beings craving for relevance from the zoo will talk about us i want people Everything happening in the zoo, I warned our people about, and today it has all come to pass. But sometimes, you know, 
that Igbo man disease of greed, envy, and jealousy. From 2012, I've been preaching. In fact, from 2009, I've been preaching it. Greed. Three things. The cardinal sins of an Igbo man. Greed, envy, and jealousy. But unfortunately for them, I thrive when people envy me or jealous of IPOB or they get greedy and they want to try what IPOB is doing because I know they will fail because service to Biafra is only by divine ordination. Elohim has to appoint you to do this very work. If you're not appointed, you can't do it. You'll only be flapping all over the place. After a while, you collapse and fall by the wayside like the rest did. If you're not strong, you cannot do this. You cannot even stay strong. You said no restructuring, no election. You couldn't even stand it. All of you fell by the way. Oh, everybody collapsed. Let us go and vote. Let us go. They were dancing all over the place. And I said, until the document is signed, they now came up and started pretending they never heard me when I said that I have some terms and conditions that must be met before I lift the boycott. Every program I've done, starting from Israel, is replete with this very statement. If they want me to leave the boycott, they know what to do. They heard it, but they are pretending. They never, no, we never heard it for one day. The idiots making their useless videos online. They never hear you know, Shameless pigs making their videos online. So you don't know that I've been saying this from day one. Meet my conditions and I will lift the boycott. Those conditions were met and the boycott was lifted. So what is, I, I keep asking, what is, the, what is then is your problem? Oh no, you just want to say something so your, your handlers from the north can be pleased with you. They fabricate all manner of nonsense against IPOB. Ask them to provide one shred of evidence that is known. But we have loads against them. If I wanted to be a very wealthy man, I would have agreed to the deal I was offered right inside DSS, not even when I went to Kujia prison. But I, I turned it down. Kujia prison, they came and I turned it down. I went to court and I called G uh, Buhari when he was alive before Jibril came along, a madman. Some of you can't even go to your local village DPO and call him a madman. That is who we are, without fear before our enemies. As I said before, the same way they signed our document, the day we lift arms to fight the zoo, the world will know about it. And if they continue the way they are going now, that day is drawing ever closer. Can you imagine some of these noisemakers in a situation room with us or in a war cabinet with us? Before we finish the meeting now, Al Haji will know in the north. Useless, hopeless people without honor and shame. If I've taken money from the zoo, I'll be a millionaire now. Maybe perhaps I'll own one or two schools abroad as well. But I love my people. Chukwa Biyama said if I abandon, I can't even think about it. I can't even think about it. So my life is involved in what I'm doing. And our destination is Biafra. Look at all what they said. No restructuring, no election. Without restructuring, we cannot vote. Everybody felt a typical black scenario. Nishoji, no discipline, no honor. They all fell apart. Hunger. The same reason why Shea Guevara left Congo when he came. That a black man cannot put the need of the stomach over and above that of his freedom. And you expect him to stay. No. Do you see where there hasn't been any serious revolution in black Africa? Because all these people that you see yapping all over the place, they are typical black African people. They just make noise, they do nothing. 
they don't have the guts to do anything or stand on what they proclaimed. Everybody was shouting no, restructuring the election. And then what happened when they started spraying the Naira bills and the dollar bills around? What happened? They all fell by the wayside. They all collapsed. Their shame and humiliation is that IPOP did not collapse with them. That is their shame. That oh, all of a sudden IPOB said no. And so I, of course, of course, we stuck at it. That in a book, right? will not see what Ibazo is doing. What Umahi is doing. The day that we decide to retaliate, every idiot will be everywhere talking nonsense. This night, I want those pictures released everywhere. I want it tweeted and posted to every government in the world. This is what Obiano is doing. Obiano, if I give the order for the same thing to be done to your children, will you be happy? The answer is no. Then why are you doing it to other people? Do you see how foolish our people are? APC wants me to boycott. PDP wants me to lift the boycott. It's like the devil's alternative. When I say no boycott, we are being attacked by PDP rats. When I said boycott, we are being attacked by PDP rats. I said no boycott has just been lifted. APC unleashed their own people. And the funny thing is that they are all answering Igbo. I don't even fact, I don't even believe that Igbo, to be honest with you. It's very easy to do. If you check on Channels TV tonight, there is somebody or a company saying they want to recruit 57,000 people on social media and you must have about 200 friends. That's what they do. They're not Igbo. They are fake people with fake names. Our people are too intelligent for them. But that's what they do. But what is telling me is that some of you allow this nonsense to get to you. You allow it to affect you. So if this rubbish can affect you when we go to war, what are you going to do? I said it before that only one leaflet from a helicopter up telling you that your leader has been captured or has been shot dead, all of you will abandon the field and run away. I said that before in 2012. That is why we need men before we march. I've been saying it all the time. That you have some idiots somewhere in the pay of um, one political godfather or the other, yapping rubbish. And some of you, uh, you allow such nonsense to affect you. I said it before and allow me to repeat. I love trouble. If there is no trouble around me, I create one myself. All these things are necessary. Look at it this way. It's like the body and your immune system. If you raise a child that suffered no infection, no viral infection, no bacterial infection, by the time they're in their teenage years or early 20s, if any illness you know, um, um, invades their body, so to speak, they'll be dead because they're not used to fighting illnesses and diseases from childhood. That is how we are in IPOB. That is why we love every battle that comes our way. It only makes us a lot stronger than we were before. And that is why we have always won every battle we've gone into. This is not even a battle. They're trying to use a new method perfected in the USA.
because we are on the right path. He stops tonight because we are doing the right thing. He stops tonight because everybody collected money and fell by the wayside. If you're looking at your Google search results tonight, no restructuring, no election, you will know that it was only IPOB that stood firm until he got what he was looking for. The rest fell apart. Yoruba, Joibo, everybody, they all ran away. Collected money. we are sanctified that is one thing about us and that is why we are going to prevail if you have any doubt go and check it so the boycott that we kept hammering on and talking about is not just something that fell out of the air everybody Edwin Clark will boycott the very respected father Aya Debanjo, a man I love very much, said we will boycott. My own father himself, Professor Ben Wabez, I said we are going to boycott. Without an agreement, we will boycott. He told me in confidence. Everyone knows I revere him and I respect him and will always do all the days of my life. The facts are there for the whole world to see. Only IPOB stood firm until we got what we're looking for therefore we must proceed if they ask you next time point them to this and ask them what became of it because we are fighting to free our people from eternal bondage and damnation in the zoological republic that is something that our people must know and come to respect i hope and what is the fell out of our boycott that we lifted because we lifted this very boycott the zoo fell apart ask yourself this question if they had wanted to postpone the election do you think they would have waited until five and a half hours before the polls open for them to announce the postponement is because apc was hoping that ipop boycott will give them the opportunity to rig the election i say a lot of people didn't vote anyway once i lifted the boycott all their plans fell apart the only option left was to postpone it so they can go back to the drawing table and start planning again there's some people have been writing and saying oh no it's not that uh, usa phone some people and all the rest of it that is nonsense. The zoo is, um, on paper at least, a sovereign nation. The only reason why the cabal with Jubil fronting them postponed the election is because they know that their game was up. That IPOB calling off the boycott was the end of them. They knew it. And even at that, uh, some idiot said, that, um, I'm working for APC. Do you see how foolish some black people are? Honestly, I feel sorry for us sometimes. That is how daft and useless we are. And I said to them, name one person, instance, or event. I will, I will never, not in a trillion years, contemplate doing anything else other than to restore Biafra. And our people know this, not the baby saboteurs. What is the fallout of the boycott? You can see it. All the petty yapping going on is because they know. We have them by the balls and they understand that. We are the most potent force on this very planet. Imagine the day we take up arms, what will happen? The most potent on the face of this very IPOB is. And I say it with every degree of certainty. If you go to DSS headquarters tonight, our people are there, being arrested. We remain resolute and determined. Resolute and determined. In our number, we are being hunted down. Even this night as I speak, very resolute and determined. We can never ever capitulate. In our body same, they are killing us in broad daylight. In order to instill fear, state terrorism, if there was And some unconscionable idiots are busy online talking rubbish idiots that had the opportunity to do something they failed to do it instead collected money put it in their pocket 
hoping that I will be like them, but unfortunately I'm not. I am Namde Kano. Understand that very name very well. Namde Kano is my name. I don't play politics of black Africa. I don't play politics of the zoo. I don't do what I do because I want to be comfortable. I have sacrificed everything sacrificable and I will sacrifice even more. If you understand, you do. If you don't, you don't. Those who are opposed to voting all of a sudden wanted to go and vote. Ask yourself, why did you change? You have all the results from Google. You do the maths yourself. Obiano with his friends. Obiano, Igbo governors. Umahi. Okay, Zibazo. People are aware. They see the pictures online and they don't comment. They keep quiet. Una who go back and line our cars for Candio, she they tie our hands behind our back. As if we have stolen something from anybody. All we are asking for is freedom. The right to agitate for self determination. Look at the way they're treating us. Nobody has ever seen a Fulani heads man arrested. None of these people, both the Imo State Governor, Okurawosa, Obiano, Niyangu, all the rest of them, ganging up against IPOB, none of them have risen to speak against Fulani heads men that go about killing people. But everybody is comfortable with IPOB being killed every blessed day, being molested, being treated like common criminals. You are all seeing it now with your mouth shut. The day we decide to march, you'll be online and yapping like an eerie. Now that your so-called governor, so Obiano, is busy killing our people in Anambra because of an Arab, in fact, a Sudanese man, Jubril. None of you will say it. Everybody is quiet. All these criminals, all of you, you are now quiet as you're seeing the atrocities being perpetrated by Obiano, Okezi, Paso, Dave Omahi. All of you are seeing it now. All those people. You're giving your full and your friends in police order to go and kill and arrest. They're, some of them, they have mothers and fathers, all of them, as a matter of fact. Think of how it will be should your own children encounter similar fate. How will you feel? All those idiots pontificating on social media, I hope you're aware of what Obiano is doing tonight. I hope you're aware of what Fulani police commissioners are doing in our land tonight. I hope you're aware of what the army is doing in our land tonight. As I'm speaking to you, they're in Anambra arresting people. As I'm speaking to you, they're in Aba shooting people dead tonight. And some of you are so shameless. You are so foolish and so stupid. You don't even know who has come to save you from your ignorant self. That's how bad it is. Do you think it's a coincidence that Africa is at the bottom of the pile in the whole world? That black people are below the lowest animal on earth? Are you surprised? It is in our brain, the way we reason, the way we behave. The way we interpret and analyze, even utilize information, there lies the key. That is why IPOB is different. And that is why no amount of intimidation, no amount of arrest, no amount of extrajudicial killing is going to stop us from restoring Biafra. The sooner you understand this, the better for everybody. If I had taken money from anybody, I will not be speaking with the same authority that I'm speaking to you with tonight. They all know it. Look at all those that compromised. Even those that had weapons that compromised. Can they speak with any authority? When the chips are down, they collect money and they keep quiet. But for us, our march is relentless. We continue until Biafra is restored completely and totally. If you know Obiano, 
go and remind Obi. Obi, I know you have children. The people you're asking for any people to kill the Anam Brat in an arrest, they are somebody's children or child. Should the same thing visit your family, you will not be happy. People pretend there is nothing. But it will happen to somebody very soon. And then they will know what they've done to themselves. No, no restructuring before 2019 elections. Remember that. Everybody else fell by the wayside. Only IPOB stood very strong until we got everything that we are looking for. Understand this very clearly. I'm not even sure the election on Saturday will hold because Jibril will be chased away back to Sudan. Then you will know that Buhari is dead because Jibril will run away. He cannot make all that millions of, of, of dollars and no one to enjoy it, he will run away. Remember before that they used to show him on the right hand side all the time. Now it's only because they've, uh, the, the, whoever did the, the, the plastic, um, I want to call it the, the plastic surgery, I'll call it um, the cosmetics. Whoever is um, doing the makeup is doing a very great job these days. But I have one other expose to do, and that will shock them. I will not tell them in advance what I'm going to say about Jubril. That will shock the whole world. But even those that I'm actually telling about Jubril, do they have the capacity, do they have the mental capacity to actually comprehend the enormity and the magnitude of what I'm saying? I doubt that very much. I sincerely doubt that. Because if they had it in them to understand what they are being forced to endure, believe you me, they will be the mother of all revolutions in this way. But you can't do it because you're black. I don't, when I started doing Jubilee Expose, I did not start doing it that somehow Nigerians will rise up and do something. No, because they've, they've never risen. Is not Buhari will mark the end of the zoo as we know it. Everybody knows that very well. And listen carefully, forget all the pretenses. Oh, is our next fault? This, everybody knows that it was Buhari that shifted the elections. Everybody knows that very well. Not Buhari, Jibril, of course, but they call him Buhari. And uh, for the benefit of those who are too dumb to understand or to distinguish between Jubil and Buhari, that is why we call him Jubil Buhari, so you can take your pick. This very lawmaker in the USA, his name is Chris Smith, placed the blame squarely at the door of Jubil in Asorok and the cabal that is behind him. If you look at what this man said, it is very, very clear. They say that the zoo called Nigeria is the most populous nation in Africa. Anything should Nigeria implode, it will have a ripple effect. It will destabilize the region. That is why they keep managing, trying to see if there is a peaceful way that the dissolution of the zoo can happen. Because the world powers don't have the wherewithal to cater for the millions of refugees that will pour into their countries. They don't have what it takes to police the entire West Africa. 
that is why they keep managing the zoo and trying to see if there is any way that could be a humane solution to the myriad of problems affecting that very damnable contraption. These are the things that people don't understand, which I am here to make very clear to you. There is a grand conspiracy to ensure that any truth you speak concerning or likely to affect the integrity of the sovereignty of the zoo will be shut down. They see the truth and they deny it. Every simple picture, is this Jubilee? The answer is no. Is this Buhari? The answer is no. Then who is the man then? Who is he? Is this the Buhari used to know? Of course, they agree that that is not the Buhari they used to know. Then who is this man? They say, forget it, let's go to the polls. People that sold their conscience to the devil have the temerity and the audacity to comment to rubbish about IPOB. They have collapsed and they have fallen by the wayside and we must continue. If you know Obi or not, go and tell him to leave our people alone. Leave our people alone. You know, some of you are very good at forgetting. Tomorrow you will forget. Tomorrow you will all forget. Tell Obi and all to leave our people alone. Our terms and conditions we are met, and at the right time I will make the document public. The time, the last time I made our transmitter public, some of you conspired with DSS to come and carry it from where it was. Some idiots even went as far as trying to tell them about our defense fund so they can also take it that is how evil and wicked they are we will not fall for their tricks they've tried it before they didn't work and we're not going to allow them the benefit of responding to their little tittle tattle in a few months to come. Believe you me, some people will hang themselves in shame. That I can assure you. So we must remain very strong and very resolute as we proceed, as we proceed. Freedom fighting is not about empty noise making on Facebook, it's about having the liver to do what you say you will do. Some people we are pretending they never heard me say, if they sign our document, I will leave the boycott. It is there in every program I've been making, all the way from Israel. Go and check it. You, are, you allow yourselves to be toyed with. We are IPOB. Let me tell you one thing. If I had chosen the root of all these people, by today, IPOB will be history. People who are not remotely connected to IPOB, are busy attaching themselves to a great movement because they are in search of relevance. That's all they're looking for. They, today they come, IPOB is good. All oh, hell, Biafra, Mujineke, Shalom. They are wolves in sheep clothing. All they want to do is to come close to IPOB, gain relevance. They'll be settled by the government and they are gone. They started yapping rubbish. That is why I will no longer praise anybody on Radio Biafra. Never again. Unbelievable. My respect for Niger Delta Avengers remains undiminished because of the work they did initially. Remains undiminished because of the work they did initially. Maybe they allowed themselves to be hijacked by their politicians. That is why you no longer hear from them. But we in IPD, we said no. Nobody can, it's impossible. You can't. That is why we are still very potent today. And that is why the zoo will fall. I can assure you, the zoo will definitely fall. On our terms. Not their terms, on our terms. And the uh, zoo will be hunted like a church rat. All of them. 
they know they're in serious trouble. They know they're in very serious trouble. If you attack IPOB, we will come after you regardless of who you are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. Once you open your mouth to, or you allow your fingers to type anything that remotely resembles an attack against IPOB, we will decimate you completely and totally without mercy. So in your next life, you will learn those you talk to and how you talk to them. We are IPOB. We are not like any other useless group you may have formed that no longer exist. No, we are here. We will exist forever and ever. As long as there is a Biafran child on the face of the earth, the name IPOB shall remain. I will be remembered for all time. That's something that you want to know. All of you, put together. They want to get close to us as a bargaining power so their flooding masters can, you know, perhaps um, pay them very well. The zoo is afraid of only two names, as I said earlier. IPOB and the Namdekan. Those are the only two names they're afraid of. We have no guns, and look at how they're chasing us all over the place. Distressing themselves for no reason. Trying to discourage us. All because we boycotted the elections, and I lifted the boycott. We put up the elections. We said we boycott this until our terms are met. Our terms have been met, and I lifted it. Today, Obiano is hunting our people. Now, Obiano is seeing himself that he could have benefited from a boycott. Do you see how the reason? Obiano is killing our people because of the cabal in the north that killed our people at Ombo. So he said. Do, do you see how the reason? And he will still have supporters by tomorrow. In the Agro, wretched, hungry people. As somebody wrote very cleverly, they think um, everybody's as hungry as they are. Because you're hungry and you sold your conscience, you sold the struggle when you were in a position to negotiate a very good deal for your people, doesn't mean everybody's like you. We are very special. And I'm sure after tonight, they will come to that inescapable realization. And uh, somebody wrote very cleverly that a strong man is a man that no matter how hard you try, he remains very resolute. Has my position changed since I was arrested? Even before I traveled to the zoo in 2015. Has it changed? The answer is no. But they have all changed, all of them. Biafra by day, something else by night. They will come to you and give you something and then start jumping all over the place. Of course, I knew, or uh, had known from the beginning, that there is no way Jubil can survive an election in this year. No, it's not possible. Everybody knows it's from Sudan. They know that thing there is not Bukhari. Everybody knows that. So I know once there's an election, Jubil is gone. I know that. So they are only fighting a rare gut battle to see if there is any way they can sustain themselves in power. They know that very well. I saw a program this evening which was quite um, compelling. I wouldn't say compelling in the sense that, but what the person said, um, I found it very interesting. Uh, was it that you look? I was saying something on on on, on television. He said, when they brought out Obasanjo in 1999, he contested against Tolu Falaye. Yorubas did not vote for Obasanjo. Petibos did. Southeast and South South did. That is something about our people that the others do not understand and can never understand about us. We are good people. By nature, we are I was born, but we are good people, not minding all oh, nonsense I'm running after the war. The rubbish that they impregnated in our land in later after the war that gave birth to absolute hopeless idiots. Those born at the bridge in Lagos. My master be evil. That the only difficulties we are having, so to speak. We are a very good people, a wonderful race, very proud, a very, very proud people. And that pride is not only magnified, but exemplifies itself in a beauty. That is why who gave birth to you? Who are you? 
we are IPOB. The very best thing has ever happened to our people. IPOB is the best thing to ever happen to the whole of Africa. The very, very best. The very best. If you're in IPOB, you thank you, Kokika Biyama, because you're a chosen child of heaven. Who didn't suffer persecution? Everybody suffered persecution. Everybody suffered persecution. That today is right on top of the ladder. And our time is coming. And when the time comes, the world will know that one day, one evening, somewhere, this very voice spoke and said that Biafra will come. That we are going to remain truthful, whiter than white and whiter than snow, always without fear before our enemies, that Chukukika, Biafra, that heaven and earth may bear us witness. That at a time, these men walk the face of this very earth. On that very note, I bring this very program to a conclusion. But before I do so, if you know Obi and Ogo and warn him to leave our people alone, warn those of them in the Nigerian army, they love denying. We have the pictures, we have the videos, and I want it to be posted everywhere until it goes viral. So that the day we start revenging all these atrocities nobody will blame us because that day is coming i can assure you it will come definitely to come we have not done anything to these people that derive so much pleasure and joy in killing us nothing we said we won't vote they came after us we lifted the boy boycott they're still coming after us that tells you all you need to know about this I want all of you to be safe, those of you listening in Biafra land, and remain very strong and resolute. Remain very, very strong and resolute because victory is ours and victory is very, very close. Bless and keep each and every one of you now and forevermore. Isse, Isse, Isse.